obviously the day you decide to start filming outside uh, because it's so beautiful is the day that everyone takes their uh, takes their lawnmower outside and starts cutting lawns so there'll be a bit of background noise boys and girls not that I'm concerned because it's just normal background noise on a day like today I'm just chopping up this uh, pepper cut all the bits off waste not whatnot not and I want to cut this into strips let's get all this over here all the good stuff over there and all the bad stuff over here see how organized I am and I'm doing this as like um stir fry steak topping so I'm gonna need some onion as well which I've got lots of onion I've got that much spare onion and I've got another small one I'll need some garlic a little bit of lemon juice and of course I've got two two rather nice uh, they're 14 day matured British sirloin steaks from my local store and uh, judging by the marbling in them, they look like decent, uh, decent little sirloin steaks. So they need to be outside of the fridge and resting for a good half hour before you cook them. If you want a really good steak. So that's my pepper all chopped up. And... Um, because of the way that's cut I'm going to cut it continue cutting it that way because and it doesn't matter if you mix these together because they're they're all going in the fried pan at the same time so that doesn't really matter it's a bit leathery that bit and that can go over there onion what I'm going to do with this I'm going to tail it top it so I'm just cutting those in a sort of radial cut because that makes nice pieces for the stir fry so we're going to be cooking this steak on the rocket stove as you saw in the title and we'll show you that in a minute I think uh, I think just one clove of garlic really for this no maybe two I like two I like garlic you think if you don't like garlic so much either leave it out or use less give that a whack and it peels easily same with that and I'm just going to cut those up cut it in half lengthways and then that one as well and I'll put the knife through it a few times seen me do this loads of times so there you go don't need to get too fancy with that Let's just cut it up because it's going into the stir fry there's a neat little trick I use I use this uh, non-slip matting which comes in rolls from my local hardware store and I just um, just roll it out and cut off pieces as I need them stops your board slipping
All right, I've got a couple of fire lighters in the bottom there. I'll just give them a quick start. And we just get that started with a few little twigs to start with. And then, good thing about a rocket stove is once it's going, you can uh, just pick up any old damp twigs from the forest floor and it will just work. And it's very efficient because it produces a lot of heat from uh, very little fuel. So I've got some uh, got some little um, baby potatoes in there, and I'll balance that on top of there. Put some water in it. So that's the totus for the steak. And you get smoke initially, but once the vortex gets going inside the rocket stove, it burns so efficiently it draws in air from the bottom and it comes up through the vortex so efficiently that it burns the wood virtually without any ash at all. So really that efficient. board, salt, pepper, some water in that milk bottle, um, some of my garlic that you saw me chop up, my lemon and my uh, main garlic and that's my chopped up veg. I've also got my frying pan with a lid which is uh, rather important to this method of cooking. And as you can see that's cooking rather well and it's starting to issue much less smoke now. Just to show you how efficient that is now. It took a minute or two to get started, but that's now created that vortex inside and is sending that shooting up through the funnel there. And it's a very efficient use of fuel. And what I sometimes do is drop a bit of charcoal down the funnel just in case I run out of uh, wood by neglect and that will keep it burning long enough to get the wood started again. So this is an interesting little project I've got going. Um, it's just a cheap little brazier I picked up from Amazon and uh, it's been sat in my backyard for ages hence the rot you see on the screws but I put this little basket inside it and what was the uh, grilling trivet from a, a microwave oven that had saved, hoping one day it would be useful. And it seems that has borne me out now. Um, but I've used this expanded metal, which is really just brick binding material, galvanized, to form a ring like I did with my barbecue some time back and that will hold my charcoal briquettes inside and wood allowing the ash to drop through to the bottom and draw plenty of air in to create uh, quite a fierce heat coming out the top of it because that is what I intend to use to power my discarder when I eventually get it going and this is my discarder it's enormous but as you see it's been sat around doing nothing for way too long and I don't think that gravel and dirt is going to be good for cooking but as you see my main problem with it is is because of the size of it is actually uh, getting enough heat under it for it to work efficiently so I need to get all that cleaned up. So stay tuned for some discarder recipes. Otherwise known as a cowboy wok. I've done videos of us building this. So you might want to look at those. They'll be linked. 
and um, tell you how to make it if you want to be crazy enough and do one for yourself this one's if anything it's it's too big it's just too big to use really and, uh, but it'll be fun for garden parties and got major kudos in the barbecue circles I would think if you come out with a discarder as big as that there you go I messed up I dropped one of my trivet things into the actual fire itself so uh, I'm afraid I had to uh, improvise with some broken plant pot but as you can see that's working pretty efficiently at the moment so we'll get them boiled and drained and then we'll show you the steak right the pan's coming up to heat real quick so I want to get in about a teaspoon of salt, a little bit more maybe. The salt flakes I'm using. Good sea salt flakes. And onto that goes a room temperature steak. Just dropped in, not pressing down, nothing like that. And we let that sizzle away. Sometimes it's easy just to feed it from the top. And we're just letting that go until it lifts naturally. Okay, so that's ready to turn now. That one can be turned. So remember the steak went in without any seasoning at all it went straight into the pan yeah. the searing pan with the salt that one can be turned now it's ready to go so we've got good sear on both of those steaks look lovely and if you're going to press down on them press down just on the edges like that not on the not on the center you don't want to lose any of that moisture in the steak So I'm testing for doneness now. So it's about medium, medium rare now, I would say. So I'm going to lift those out and let them rest for a while on that, and then into the pan. I'm going to put some of my garlic and rosemary oil, just a bit about a couple of tablespoons I would say and then into the pan goes my peppers and onions and we give that a quick right once you've got a good turn on your on your veggies like that I'm just going to go in there with a, my garlic give that a good mix and then what I want to do now is just get some water into there so about half a cup of water and then on with the lid so I just need to steam that now for two or three minutes so that's been steaming for a couple of minutes so that's now been steaming a couple of minutes. What I want to do now is add a little bit more water and a little bit of soy sauce to give it some flavour, extra flavour. So that's about a teaspoon of soy, a tablespoon of soy sauce. And then we'll get that stirring to lift that steaky fond off the bottom of the pan. And then I'm just going to go in there with a bit of flour mixed with water to thicken it all up. I might need to add a bit more water as that goes. Yeah, it's a bit thick. A bit more. And then I just need to cook that now to make sure I cook off the, the flour.
Yeah, yeah. yeah, it does the job, it, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Right, now into my sauce, I'm going to get plenty of black pepper because I'm that kind of guy, really. I am a black pepper guy. I just want to get a taste of that. Nice little bit more soy. And that just needs to now cook for another minute. Just to make sure that flour's cooked off. Add a little bit of water if you need to. Don't need to feed the fire anymore, just let it die off now, cook in the retiring heat. And that was done with a few handfuls of wood. Straightforward. Right, time to go and plate up, I think. Um, let's have that's the better done steak, that one. I don't know if you want to trim the fat off that. That's fine, that's no, fine. There you go. I'll live with it. And help yourself to spud it. Oh, here you go. Oh, I'll just be... Have a few spuds. Because he loves his spuds, doesn't my bro? I'll have a couple of... I don't have many spuds. I might have what, three. That'll yeah. do me. And Dick bites loads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's get some of that lovely gravy on there for you. Hi. Let's pull that that way so that people can see it. Go for a bit more of that. You can put a bit more on if you want. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's not one like that. If you've got, it, got enough. Yeah, I've got plenty. There you go, lad. Tack. Oh. <laughs> Attack. So what do you reckon, bro? Mmm. Is it good? Mmm, perfect. Tasty, yeah? Absolutely perfect. Steak's great. Will you tell everyone why you're wearing gloves? Yeah, well, I have psoriasis, so uh, not nice to see at the, at, the, at the dining table, so I tend to wear gloves. There you go. So, if you forgive us now, boys and girls, we're just going to tuck in and enjoy this. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.